Hello everybody, I'm Robert. I'm the CEO and co-founder at Cloud Sigma. In this video, I wanted to show you our approach to um, billing, measuring and billing uh, resources within our cloud, because we've taken quite a unique approach, um, <clears throat> which we describe as a utility approach. So our vision for computing, and one of the reasons why we started Cloud Sigma was we wanted to create a very open, flexible platform, which um, is very efficient uh, for, for users. And that efficiency takes its form in many uh, ways. So one way is customers can define their infrastructure in a much more granular and precise way than they can on other competing platforms. And at the same time, we're also very accurate and careful in the way we build users. And so I wanted to show both those aspects here so you get the idea. So this is the web app and the dashboard um, that you can see. And one of the things that you'll notice is that on the bottom here, we have um, the resources being consumed. And that's because in Cloud Sigma, we actually build by resources consumed. We don't build by servers or drives. And the reason for that is because you can actually create and define those servers and drives with complete flexibility. So if we were trying to build people based on those sort of um, virtual resources, virtual artifacts, like virtual servers, um, we would have a very long price list, let's put it that way. So what you can see here is that these are my current consumption levels for the various resources that we build, and that CPU, RAM, data transfer, and storage. And then what we do is we measure that every five minutes and we compare that against what you may have already purchased as a subscription or, um, or not. And so uh, if I go in and show you on the compute side, you can see here, these are my running servers. Uh, I have four running servers at the moment. And you see there that my consumption is the same as the total there. It's 38, and this is the total down here, 38. Now, if I was to create a server now, um, I can just call it just a test um, and give it a size. Um, and let's let's just go get a drive quickly from the library. Uh, doesn't matter, I'll just create send to S1. So that's uh, a server I've just created quickly here. And what's gonna happen is, um, once it's cloned that drive across, I'll save that server and you'll see that it has no impact on the billing at all, um, except for the storage. So we've now got a, an extra drive of 10 gigabytes. If I save that server, that server now has had no impact on the amount of computing I'm using, but you see there that the distributed SSD just changed slightly, and that's because of the new drive. So it's sensing these changes in real time, essentially. Um, if I now go into my compute, you can see if I was to boot the server up, it'll take about 10 to 15 seconds to boot up. And we should see, um, you can see I've it's three gigahertz, the size of the machine, and you'll see there, as you can see, that it's immediately sensed the change in usage. Um, and that's fantastic for customers because what it means is that they can scale up and scale down. And our system is actually accurately recording what they're actually using over time. And we're only billing for what you're using. So now let's have a look at the billing model. So here we can see a snapshot of my billing and my usage and how I'm being billed for that. And this allows um, you as a customer to easily see what's going on in your account on a single pane of glass and at the same time to define your sort of purchasing strategy around that. So um, just to run through this, you can see the current usage levels here. And I already explained how they're adapting to what I'm doing in my account. And then you'll see that we have a, a column called subscriptions. Now, we actually have a, what we call free tier, and then that's every customer that's spending above around $10 a month or 10 Swiss francs a month, they get these free resources automatically. So you get five terabytes of outbound data transfer, uh, inbound is free, and you get one gigabyte of RAM and uh, 50 gigs of uh, SSD, and that's completely free. Um, so we what we do is we look at that, and then we look at subscriptions. Now, your subscriptions are capacities that you've purchased of different resources over time. So if you are running, for example, an email server and you've been with Cloud Sigma for a while and you're happy, you may choose to purchase a subscription for a year for the capacities that you need for that particular server. And as I said, that's completely defined by you, the size of that server, the storage, etc. So what you would do is you would... Um, based on the size of that server, say, okay, I'm gonna buy some resources and I'll show you how you can do that in the web app in a minute. Um, and you just simply go in, buy those resources, and then automatically we would sense that you'd already pre-purchased capacity. And then what our billing system does is it compares the total subscriptions that you may have, which could be you know, the free and the paid subscriptions, looks at what you're currently um, consuming, 
And the difference by definition is a on demand or what we call burst resource consumption. And what we do there is we simply charge you every five minutes. So as you can see, I've got 34 gigabytes usage. I've actually got subscriptions, including the free tier of 22 gigabytes. So it's realized that I'm bursting 12 gigabytes and it puts those microtransactions on my account. So as soon as I shut down um, any of those servers or reduce my burst, my on-demand charges will immediately be reduced as well. And that's every five minutes, 24 seven. So it's an extremely accurate system that's measuring what's going on in your account. Um, and as I said, it's taking this utility approach. So the pricing behind that is again, a utility approach. Now my account's in Swiss francs, but we also support US dollars, euros, uh, British pounds, as well as the Swiss franc. And we're adding more currencies all the time. So we very much uh, want to cover all the major currencies for customers so they can um, they can easily manage their manage their accounts in a currency that makes sense for them from an invoicing perspective. So you can see here again, all of the pricing is done in a simple way. It's done in a way where um, we're defining a simple unit, a gigabyte in the case of RAM, or um, for example, gigahertz in the case of CPU, and then we're charging a certain rate per hour or per month. Um, but the way we're applying that is every five minutes, but the reference is, is giving a reference time frame of an hour or a month, just so you can easily compare. So this is really how the whole system works. Um, it's actually very simple because if you want to budget or understand uh, the costs or potential costs within Cloud Sigma, all you need to know is what are the total resources? That's it. It doesn't matter if it's 100 servers, if it's 10 servers. All we care about from our perspective is what is your aggregate resource consumption look like? And from there, you can immediately have a price. So it's extremely transparent. It's predictable. There are no real hidden charges and it's very efficient um, because it's able to bill you in real time based on your actual consumption. And you can see here, these are the actual subscriptions. It's got a whole history, but I can obviously go in and filter that for compute resources that I might be having at the time. Um, and you can you can have them set to auto renew or, or not as, as the case may be. So again, you can really define that. And then what I wanted to show you as a sort of final point, are the billing logs. If, <clears throat> and this basically shows you these micro transactions. So I made a couple of purchases of IPs today, but you can also see these burst transactions coming in for um, storage that I'm using on Burst in this case. And that's very much, um, that's happening in the background all the time, but you're able to go in, see these and ex actually export them as well for your own auditing and compliance purposes. So thanks for your time. That was a little bit of a whirlwind tour on our, our billing uh, and uh, and uh, management, account management system. Uh, I hope you uh, find it attractive as we do um, in, in a way that you can um, really put your money to work and only pay for what you're using and um, happy computing.